So what I have here is a uh, 11 kW. It had a uh, <coughs> I got history. That says the error code. Oh, that overspeed was caused uh, by a manual moving of the uh, this right here. <sighs> it's still the overspeed from that. And that was the original problem. Over crank air code 1100. And the way I test those is I manually start it and these should move. As soon as you hit start, they like chick, chick, and then they move back and forth as they control a throttle to achieve 3600 RPM. And that one didn't move at all. So, off of that, I've shown this before, is this cable. And Generac usually straps it down, so I don't understand why that one's not strapped down. But it comes down into here and plugs in, oh great, right down the front of the controller, somewhere up in here. Uh, so anyways, This went bad. And I couldn't order, well, I couldn't order anything. So what it came down to is Generac changed it to where if you order that part, you have to get the throttle body and the stepper control. And they're quite expensive. So you test them first. And from that red wire to all the other wires, if you put an ohmmeter right in there and go along, you should get 10 to 12 ohms on every single leg. I had an open line on this wire here on the end, which means it's broken or internally in that stepper switch, it doesn't exist. So I'm gonna replace this. And because I couldn't get just the stepper switch. This is the part that goes in. It'll go in like that. It's the whole throttle body with the stepper switch, gas selector switch. <sighs> and because I have to take everything off this thing to get that out, I'm not gonna videotape that. <sighs> But I'll put the new one in. I'll run the wire through the back. I'll connect it up into there. And I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, even though I've done a few repairs. In one, I found three of these screws. And uh, so I just put them in the back of my truck. They didn't go to anything. They were just extras when they assembled that. And on another unit, they were missing one that was be down about there on the new ones because they have a pan. So I just used it there. On another, when I opened the filter box, I found a bolt inside. Come on, you can do it. Look, see the spider webs there? And there's just a few there. One I worked on had spider, egg spider web spiders 
all the way down through because this if you can see down in there there's nothing to prevent anything from getting in from here which is the other end of that so i usually when i service them i wipe that completely out i clean up this in another unit i did recently i found a bolt in here and as you can see there's no requirement for a bolt anywhere in there a uh, little bit of oil a lot of times when they bring in freezing cold air that has a hose uh, that goes right down into there and the condensation can block it and it'll draw oil up into that box but anyway so i got to get this done looks like nobody put any in axe on any of the battery connections i didn't install this one i don't typically run like that but i'm not here to criticize most people that do installations it's uh if you want to make money you put it in the fastest easiest way see what they got for gas line that looks pretty good they did go straight i, I just did one where you would not believe I, I i'm surprised gas made it through it because it was all bent up in the machine had sunk into the ground about six inches but i don't want this to run very long so i'm just going to get into this it's 18 degrees river's a little frozen and that's canada over there that's uh i would guess that's brockville ontario <laughs> 